Hello friends, welcome to my Princess Diana channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. It seems to me that here we face a perhaps even more pressing issue, exposures of the royal family were really gossip these days, and it would tear the royal family apart from this inside. On the one hand, Eugenie leaked the information to the outside just as Harry was the one who was receiving the secret royal information and practically throwing it on Meghan. And what psychology is dear to Eugenie after this trick? You better get ready, now I am ready to tell you the news. Hi and welcome back to my channel, the latest coronavirus leak rather cruel act to the British royal family. T he worst thing is that King Charles has pancreatic cancer and Catherine's medical records were leaked to the outside. It is insane. On March 20, 2013, an article was published in InTouch magazine, which stated that Princess Catherine is going to announce that she is cancer. Moreover, the article was immediately published right after the first one that exact, the content King Charles has pancreatic cancer and two years left to live. I was afraid that of course not all when Prince Andrew's youngest daughter, Eugenie, helped Harry and he, out of desperation, told everything to his wife, the Duchess of Sussex. Eugenie, it seems, still hates Catherine and goes to her in cold jealously since she should have had a higher title machine. Maybe that's why the pranks? And only Catherine is by no means their only target. Even the own royal family defamed her through revelations about King Charles. I'll repeat again with one thing, I heard that Eugenie doesn't like Princess Catherine. I don't understand why King Charles was even poking his nose at the York daughters, probably it is for the better. What would the daughters of York do when he himself asked Prince Andrew to move out of the house where he used to stay? Well, there is the loyalty to the father. They may feel so bonny about the late queen, but to King Charles, no. Most especially to Princess Catherine as she is to the queen the moment the king became king. Hopefully, Prince William will not put any of the York daughters in a position of influence when his children come of age. Nothing can possibly surprise us when we all know Eugenie is close to Harry. And, of course, Meghan. We even think Eugenie allows her son to pose like Archie, and there was a comment aired before saying, Harry's son is so much like Eugenie's son. Well, an unacceptable act of Eugenie, she already paid a price for it when she announced she is divorcing her husband. Or they were divorcing soon. Another karma will realize on Eugenie for conspiring with Harry and Meghan. I always had a strong feeling Eugenie was the one who introduced Harry and Meghan. Can you imagine? Fergie's been sidelined all these years because Prince Philip couldn't even stand the sight of her. And now, with this mess Andrew's creating with his imbecility. Eugenie seems to be the one with a very strong closeness to the two. This is payback time for their wrong choices, and Eugenie's parents have had to bear the consequences. I never trusted anything pointed out by Eugenie, especially when she met them right after the interview. She looked like she wanted to or felt like she was siding with Meghan on the family issue and while she may have been hopeful that she was taking the right side, she was wrong. Eugenie is probably peddling fast again. If she is, Eugenie has plenty to answer for. On which side does Eugenie truly stand? I do not believe that it made Princess Catherine say that, but I am sure it advised her, and, rather than being leaked, her family's conduct was excellent. If the York family really is to blame, then they must be held accountable. That, without a doubt. Prince William and Princess Catherine are indeed the nearest folks we can have to our royal household, we must defend them. That will all be different when Prince William assumes the throne of his father, for he is half his mother with the same unchanging spirit as our dear deceased queen who ruled this entire country for over seventy years. I have never really loved Eugenie she always appeared to have anything ever transpired and couldn't be relied on. 
There was also a time when she slid her hand across her face in that video as they descended the stairs. And she did it on purpose. And Catherine stared her right in the eye, but Eugenie didn't even glance at Catherine. Fortunately, Eugenie can hold his head high since Catherine did manage to get the pleasant and happy away. Like I said earlier, she shouldn't be messed with, she's stronger than she's always been. Eugenie truly is the apple of the old tree, and she imagines she can't get any better than Princess of Wales, Catherine. She'll go to the Queen and argue that Catherine has never given her a nod unless William. It felt like Eugenie could not hold her big mouth shut for whatever goes on above the royal palace walls. If Eugenie was cognizant that she acted in accordance with royal rules, then she would have alerted Harry. Eugenie feeds some false royal information that she is the only one who knows, and she was found passing them through to the two in America. Yes, such a racist family, she is so desperate to make a royal connection. The Yorks are nothing more than trashy. This is a killer and a coward. And the next point is Eugenie, who told you something about King Charles. If Eugenie had merely chattered and told King Charles a tale, to be honest, I might show her the same mercy her father does by tolerating her abuses of the dagger. But she is incompetent. It is far easier to be nice when most stabbings do not necessitate suturing, and the stabbing is not directed at you. The press may have known it was she who informed them, or Harry and Meghan may have told the press that King Charles had pancreatic cancer and had only two years to live. Allow me to explain further. If pancreatic cancer is adenocarcinoma, it will have a poor prognosis. If it's a neuroendocrine tumor, the patient will last longer. Steve Jobs had this, and it lived longer. It means, therefore, that the tumor was going to affect the parathoid and that during the cytoscopy, which was the most probable path, it was discovered that the urologist had asymptomatic calcifications or stones in his urines. Therefore, it was easy to do more tests to determine the nature of any form of cancer. My godson had an islet cell tumor of the pancreas in 2017 at 33, and he had fully healed by the time he went through the tests. It had gone into his liver, he had surgery, they went through different types of chemo, including other radioactive treatment with isotopes, and he was cancer-free. No one in this world could precisely estimate the number of years King Charles had. Surely he has the best doctors and everything like that, and many things can happen which would shorten or lengthen one's life. Where the doctor is asked to predict the prognosis, he uses the number of years the average patient has died or survived depending on the stage of the cancer. It seems that both Harry and Meghan are afraid that William will eventually become king, and they have teamed up with Jeannie to keep sabotaging the royal family. I am really sorry to say this to King Charles, but what if the magazine was correct, and King Charles only lived for two more years, which means William goes up to the throne? King William would probably never forgive the bullshit Meghan said about having two children and wanting to be in the line. And also, after what Meghan did to Penny, King William would probably think the right thing and reveal the so-called ghost kid's real identities to the press. In the end, this should stop, and the royal family should have no mercy against Harry, Meghan, and even Jeannie. What is your thought on Jeannie's mindset when she performed like that to her family members? Think about the subjects we have just discussed, the view opens up many exciting perspectives and strengthens deeper understanding. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy. I'll see you in the next one.